turn your mobile workstation into a powerful battle station. The Aorus GTX 1070 Gaming Box is a complete yet compact solution that comes with a GTX 1070 graphics card and 450 watt PSU built inside. Hook it up to your laptop and you have a battle ready machine right away. Here is how it works. First plug in the power cord. Next, connect the gaming box to your laptop with the Thunderbolt USB Type-C cable included in the package. The Thunderbolt 3 technology enables blazing fast 40 gigabits per second of data transfer while providing up to 100 watt power to the connected laptop at the same time. When you see the gaming box lights up and hear the notification sound, it means laptop has successfully recognized the gaming box. Then follow the instructions on the screen to proceed. Finally, download the NVIDIA driver and the installation is done. A quick reminder, do not unplug and replug the cable immediately as it may cause system failure. Wait for the disconnection sound and then plug the cable back in again. Now you are ready to play on your Ultrabook laptop. Just to up your game even more, you can connect an external monitor of your choice for an enhanced gaming experience. At the back, there are three USB 3.0 ports where you can hook up your gaming peripherals and external storage to set up a complete battle station. There is also an extra quick charge 3.0 port to charge your mobile devices when the battery is running low. There you have it, the innovative external graphics solution from Aorus. Work hard, but don't forget to play even harder. Meet the amazing Node Pro PCIe Expansion Chassis. With its handy carrying handle, you can take it anywhere. It opens a world of possibilities. From capture cards to audio and network cards, your options are endless. With two 6 plus 2 pin PCIe power cables that provide power directly to the card, and with four PCIe 3.0 lanes, it can handle almost any full length card, delivering speeds up to 2750 megabytes per second. Cards can easily be swapped with no tools required. And securing the cover takes just a second. The Node Pro has a built-in 500 watt power supply, display port, and two Thunderbolt 3 ports so you can daisy chain additional devices. The Node Pro is engineered for both Mac and Windows. It delivers 60 watts of continuous power to keep your laptop charged. The Node Pro Take it anywhere. The Alienware graphics amplifier is something we're extremely proud of. It's something that we've dreamed for a long time. We're the first to come out with a device like this. It allows you to achieve graphics on par with a desktop within a notebook. We have multiple USB 3 ports, and we have our proprietary cable. This cable connects to the back of the computer. The benefit to that is you leave this set up at your desk, you leave your keyboard, your external hard drives, um, and mice permanently hooked up to this. And when you come and you sit your notebook down, you hook the cable up and you're good to go. Alienware Graphics Amplifier was designed to be easy to access on the inside. 
so that anybody can easily get in and upgrade their own graphics card. Currently, we have two graphics cards running on our notebook. We have our standard integrated graphics and we have our external graphics amplifier. We're gonna go ahead and load the Tomb Raider benchmark now. The beautiful part about this benchmark here is you're gonna see the benefits of having the graphics amplifier hooked up. It's gonna push the frame rates even higher. It's gonna give you even more visual effects. It's gonna increase the immersion that you have within the game. With all of the settings in Tomb Raider turned up to max, including tress effects, which renders each individual hair separately, we're getting over 120 frames per second. The benefit of the graphics amplifier and the advantage it gives to users is it's gonna take all the horsepower from a desktop graphics card and push it back to whatever panel you're using, whether it be the notebook monitor or whether it be a monitor that's on your desk. What we see here is our Alienware performance monitor. It's built into Alienware Adrenaline. We're monitoring the system's performance in real time. You'll see CPU performance, the memory usage, the Wi-Fi usage, and down here, you'll notice that it's the graphics usage. So you can actually see how much horsepower you're using in-game or benchmark. We can also record it and look at it again later. In the past, PC gamers have been either mobile or desktop users. With the Alienware 13 and the graphics amplifier, we're looking to merge both of those. We're the first to come out with a device like this. We're using high-speed PCI Express, desktop graphics horsepower, all in one box to make our notebooks future-proof for our customers. Razer Corex Chroma. Razer Core X Chroma compatible PCIe graphics card, graphics driver, NVIDIA or AMD, PC with Thunderbolt 3 external graphics support, and external monitor. You can download NVIDIA or AMD graphics drivers via the links in the description. You can also check out the link on the Razer Core X Chroma compatibility information. Bear in mind that when installing or replacing a graphics card, ensure that the Razer Core X Chroma is switched off and unplugged from a power outlet to avoid electrical shocks. Let's get started. Gently pull the lever to unlock then pull out the compartment from the enclosure. Peel off the tape and remove the protective foam. Remove the PCIe slot thumbscrew and cover. Insert a compatible graphics card into the PCIe slot and secure it with the thumbscrew. Plug the 6 plus 2 power connectors into the graphics card. Ensure that the power cables are kept away from the fans. Cable straps inside the enclosure can be used to manage the power cables as needed. Push the compartment into the enclosure until completely shut. Push the lever to lock the compartment. Connect the Razer Corex Chroma to a power outlet using the power cord. Use the appropriate power cord for your region. Connect the Razer Corex Chroma to the Thunderbolt 3 USB-C port of a Thunderbolt 3 external graphics card enabled system. This connection will also provide power and charge your USB-C powered laptop. Be sure to only use a compatible active 40 gigabits per second Thunderbolt 3 USB-C cable. Connect the Razer Corex Chroma to the external monitor using the display port of the installed graphics card. Before powering on the Razer Corex Chroma, ensure that your system is updated. For Windows systems, confirm that your system has the latest Windows updates installed. Razer Corex Chroma requires Windows 10, RS5 or higher. For Mac OS, the Razer Corex Chroma requires Mac OS High Sierra 10.13.4 or higher with Thunderbolt 3. Toggle the power switch on. The lighting will only display when the device is connected to the Thunderbolt 3 USB-C port of your PC while a compatible graphics card must be installed for the internal lighting to be visible. Your Razer Corex Chroma can already be used by supported applications upon connecting it to the Thunderbolt 3 USB-C port of your PC. Install the drivers for the graphics card installed in the Razer Corex Chroma. Windows Update may automatically install the driver for the graphics card. However, we recommend that you download the latest graphics driver version directly from NVIDIA or AMD. Ensure to select the correct driver option for your system as some systems may require either the standard or DCH driver version. Do note that the external graphics card must be detected by the system before installing the driver. Congratulations, you are now ready to game with your Razer Corex Chroma.